Hello guys! Our next topic is steps in the accounting cycle. First, let us define bookkeeping. So what is bookkeeping? It is the systematic and chronological recording of transactions in the books of accounts following a series of steps and procedures commonly referred to as the accounting cycle. What is an accounting cycle? It refers to a series of sequential steps or procedures performed to accomplish the accounting process. So let us discuss the 10 steps in the accounting cycle. First step, identification of events to be recorded. Second, transactions are recorded in the journal. Third, journal entries are posted to the ledger. Fourth, preparation of a trial balance. Fifth, preparation of the worksheet including adjusting entries. Sixth, preparation of the financial statements. Seventh, adjusting journal entries are journalized and posted. Eighth, closing journal entries are journalized and posted. Ninth, preparation of a post-closing trial balance. And the tenth step, Reversing journal entries are journalized and posted. So let us discuss these 10 steps one by one. Let's start with step one, identification of events to be recorded. The aim is to gather information about transactions or events generally through the source documents. By relying on the source documents, transactions and events can be analyzed as to how they will affect performance and financial position. So when we say source documents, uh, they identify and describe transactions and events entering the accounting process. So these original written evidences contain information about the nature and the amounts of the transactions. These are the basis for the journal entries. Some of the more common source documents are sales invoice, cash register tapes, official receipts, bank deposit slips, bank statements, checks, purchase orders, time cards, and statement of account. So this is the first step in the accounting cycle. The second step is transactions are recorded in the journal. This is the process of recording transactions and events in the journal or this is also known as the journalization. Step three, journal entries are posted to the ledger. So this is the process of transferring the accounts from the journal to the ledger for classification. The fourth step, preparation of a trial balance. This is the process of taking account balances from the ledger and preparing a list of the debit and credit balances of all accounts. The purpose of preparing a trial balance is simply to check the arithmetic accuracy of the accounts in the ledger. Step 5. Preparation of the worksheet including adjusting entries. This involves a review of all ledger accounts and the recording of journal entries in order to bring all accounts to correct balances. The purpose of adjusting the books is for the financial statements to present more fairly the financial position and results of operations of a business. This is done at the end of the accounting period to aid in the preparation of financial statements. Step 6. Preparation of the financial statements. From the data recorded, classified, and summarized, the financial reports are prepared to provide useful information to decision makers. And step 7, adjusting journal entries are journalized and posted. So to record, the purpose of this is to record the accruals, expiration of deferrals, estimations, and other events from the worksheet. Step 8. Closing journal entries are journalized and posted. It refers to the preparation of closing entries at the end of the accounting period to bring the income and expense accounts to zero balance and transfer profit to owner's equity. Step 9. Preparation of a post-closing trial balance. It refers to the preparation of a trial balance 
after closing the income and expense accounts. The post-closing trial balance is a listing only of the balances of assets, liabilities, and capital accounts. Its aim is to check the equality of debits and credits after the closing entries. Step 10. Reversing journal entries are journalized and posted. This is the process of reversing certain adjusting entries made so that the accounting methods used in the previous years will be maintained in the next year. These are prepared at the beginning of the next accounting period. So let us have a review of the 10 steps. So these are the 10 steps. Always remember this cycle is repeated each accounting period. So that's why it is called a cycle. So paulit-ulit lang siya. You can see the arrow here. Okay, it's a cycle. So after step 10, o balik ulit sa step 1. And ganun lang siya, paulit-ulit siya in every accounting period. That's why it is called an accounting cycle. And always remember that steps 1, 2, and 3, okay, are accomplished during the accounting period. Step 1, 2, and 3 are accomplished during the accounting period. Step 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 occur at the end of the accounting period. So, step 4 to 9 occur at the end of the accounting period. Then, this is step 10. Reversing journal entries are journalized and posted. This is optional. So, pwedeng meron, pwedeng wala. And it occurs at the beginning of the next accounting period. Okay? So, let us have a review of the steps in the accounting cycle. So, we have 10 steps. Okay? Sabayan nyo ako. Kung memorize na. Step 1, identification of events to be recorded. Step 2, transactions are recorded in the journal. Step 3, journal entries are posted to the ledger. Step 4, preparation of a trial balance. Step 5, preparation of the worksheet including adjusting entries. Step 6, preparation of the financial statements. Step 7, adjusting journal entries. And are journalized and posted. Step 8, closing journal entries are journalized and posted. Step 9, preparation of a post-closing trial balance. And step 10, reversing journal entries are journalized and posted. So I hope you memorize this. Steps in the accounting cycle. Kasi sa buong semester, paulit-ulit lang tayo from step 1 up to step 10. I hope may natutunan dito sa ating uh, video tutorial. Thank you so much.